It's a minor inconvenience My fingers cracking and they bleed Sometimes it hurts in a good way Actually, it's interesting, on that first, in that first record that we did, there was a DVD that's included, and I remember uh, Tim, somebody asking, where do you think it'll be in a, in a year? And Tim was like, well, hopefully we're making another record with a whole lot more resources behind us, and yada, yada, yada. And it's like, well, all that stuff kind of happened. And also, and I remember in that DVD, me saying, like, what we need is a, is a well-produced CD that a radio station will get and they'll want to play. And, like, that's all happened, you know, like, there's been a lot of things, good things that have happened since that first record, you know, where we got management, agent, we're playing a lot more gigs and a lot better gigs mm -hmm. in front of a lot more people, and um, you know, like I don't know. I think that um, again, I think that like after all that we've been through, I think everybody has come full circle around like just make sure that we're having fun and um, you know just staying consistent, keeping a positive attitude. You know, honestly, this has been the best received record for radio so far. Uh, I guess you might be thinking since we make records on tape, which is kind of an old-fashioned thing to right. do. Uh, you know, that it would be underproduced or underdone, but that's just not the case. That's actually the best way to get, uh, you know, sounds uh, kind of the clearest, I don't know, the best way to do it. Mm -hmm. And so that's the way we do it. Uh, that's the way we've always done it. We did uh, maybe four records like that here in Bloomington, and then just recently we traveled out to Portland to make this last one with Steve Berlin, who we first played with at that building yeah, right over there. there. Uh, it was a great show with Will Smith. The gig that keeps giving. Yeah, the gig that keeps on giving. If uh, we would have tripped over a bag of money on the way out, that could have improved on it, but that's about the only way. Uh, everything went great that night. Got to sit in with them. Right, we just got done with uh, a couple more shows with Los Lobos up uh, by Chicago a couple months ago and got to do their whole encore with them. And uh, you know, it was just the greatest experience. I, don't know, I mean, we don't really have too many problems, to tell you the truth. It's all, we're all brothers aside, whatever, we're all friends and you know, we all treat each other equally, pretty much. Except for sometimes we give Tim more shit than everyone else. <laughs> well deserved. But, um, <laughs> uh, I think that, like, I guess sometimes, um, you know, like, if we're on the road and something's happening at home that's heavy or something like that, you know, like, it's, it's nice to have, like, a family member to kind of, you can identify, mm -hmm. you know. With what's going on at home or something like that. But, I mean, for the most part, it's just yeah, it's just we're all just a bunch of dudes in a van playing music. You know? mm -hmm. Well, we got our own label right now. We put this right. uh, last record out on it. There's no label that's really doing that well right now, or if they are, I don't know about it. There's them. not many, yeah. really. Even the the ones that have thrived in the past are just fighting to stay alive. So it's like it's a whole different climate now with this with the, with the business. It's it's uh, people don't buy records like they used to, and mm -hmm. you know. I don't know. I don't think people go out as much as they used to either. And they stay home and watch their TiVo or play fucking video games or some shit. You know, like it's it's not like in you know like what like the 1970s where people just went to bars and drank beers and smoked cigarettes and watched bands. You know, like it's. I mean, it still happens. Not with the cigs, but I mean, it's just it's different. You know, like I think that, and also like you know, just the people are like like pinching pennies more now these days mm -hmm. than, than a lot of people are out of work and whatnot. So. It's just a weird climate to try to be doing it in, you know? It's not the easiest, that's for sure. But I think everybody just wants to, to fucking sell more albums and play in front of bigger crowds. And, you yeah. know, that's what's happened to us over the course of the last, like, nine years. We've sold more albums and played in front of bigger crowds. So it's just the, it's the process. We're not, like, some flavor of the month young kid thing that's going to, like, pop like that. It's like we're, we're in for the long haul and, you know, everybody's kind of a lifer in, in, in this business. So, you know, I think that the whole idea is to sell more records and play in front of larger crowds, you know? And to keep making good records, you know, to continue to, to be creative in the studio. And I just hope that I continue to write songs and feel inspired to do that. And, you know, hopefully we make another record or two with Steve, and then maybe we get to make a record with, you know, Rick Rubin or something. Or yeah, <laughs> Bill awesome. Burnett or something. You never know, you know, like, so, yeah, I think the idea is just keep doing what we're doing and, and uh, believing in it and doing it well and being professional about it. Whatever happens, happens, you know. Let the cards fall more than that. We're Backyard Tire Fire, and you're at freshscouts.com.